You have three minutes, so you've got to start to get it together. Thirty-one-year-old Jono is head chef at a modern British restaurant in Leeds. I work at a restaurant where we focus mainly on local produce, foraged and fresh ingredients. When you've created something and then they eat it for the first time and then their face light up and you see that, it just gives you an ultimate feeling of like, wow, I did, I did something great today. I think what will give me the extra edge is creativity. If something happens, I can just go with it. I'm confident in my cooking, 100%. Welcome to MasterChef. Yeah. This skills test was set by my friend, Monica. Cool. I would like you to make us a, a beautiful fruit tart with a berry compote and pistachio chantilly candied pistachios. OK. You worked in pastry? Yeah, definitely, yeah. 20 minutes, off you go. I wonder what the pan's on for. I don't know why he's heating cream up. He doesn't need to. Actually, I don't need that. Oh, then I'll be a cook <laughs> chantilly. <laughs> he doesn't need to roast the pistachio. How much travelling with your cooking, Chef? Yeah, I've travelled the world. I've done, uh, been to Copenhagen, Australia. Done quite a few. Do you have a favourite place for food? I'd say Australia. So it looks like he's just added some pistachio paste onto the whipped cream. He needed to soften the pistachio paste first, break it down, then put some cream in. You've had seven minutes, so you've got 13 minutes left. Okay, cool. So you've had a bit of experience in the pastry? A little bit, yeah. I can do a few bits and pieces. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a pastry chef, but I can make simple desserts, I guess. It's good to be able to do all sections, isn't it? So he's done caramelised pistachio rather than candied. Very, very different taste to what Monica was looking for. Where did you work in Copenhagen? Uh, I worked at Norma. Did you? Yeah. For how long? Uh, for six months. You saw some amazing ingredients, some amazing produce, amazing learning curve, you know. You... If he's worked at Noma, he should be pretty hot on his presentation. You have three minutes, so you've got to start to get it together. All done? All done. You can breathe now, Jono. <sighs> Hello, Jono. Hello, right, Marcus. You made that look pretty easy. I tried, I tried. Good. That looks really nice, Jono. The pistachio chantilly would have been great to have some vanilla through it and more of the pistachio paste. The compote, delicious, with the blackberries. The candied pistachios, I did the crystallised uh, way. These are nice, they've got texture to them. But, you know, this looks lovely. Great attempt here. Can't wait to see what your food's like, Jono. Thank you. The compote is delicious. If I was buying this and eating this in a restaurant, I would feel that it was just lacking in the pistachio flavour. What I would like to have seen you have done is to take the puree, break it down at the beginning. That releases its oils and its flavours. That's how you bring out the flavour of that puree. This is good stuff. I love the pistachio in the cream and a little hint of mint is really, really refreshing. Not too much sugar in the compote. Mate, you know what you're doing. I'm happy. Well done. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Marcus wanted more, more flavor in there, more pistachio. This is a fair comment. I preferred a smaller amount today. That's what I went with. If you wanted more, you can have more.